creative gift ideas that bring out the artist in everyone. The how-to's coming right up. For this project, you'll need a light bulb. You'll need to clean out the interior. Take a pair of safety glasses, gloves, your light bulb, and you'll need perhaps an awl as well as a little pair of uh, needle nose and I guess another pair of needle nose. What we're gonna do is you're gonna wanna take and grab safely holding your light bulb like this and grab and take this top part off, okay? Just like that, really super simple. And then you can take your awl or some sharp instrument I'm nestling my light bulb on top of like an old t-shirt or a towel and hitting my awl with my needle nose just to clear this out in here. We're done. For the white stuff, to clean that out, you'll just need a bunch of salt, which is just a table salt, and a little bit of water. Warm water, swirl that around, rinse it out, and wipe it down with rubbing alcohol. I started a hole on the side in the, in the base of this light bulb with the drill. Then we continue with my awl and a hammer, real gently. This is actually almost all the way through. Perfect. Then, I'll take my wire, insert it right here, and then gently twist it. For our leaf printing project, I am preparing a t-shirt. I gently ironed the t-shirt because I prefer to work with that without um, so many wrinkles. Typically I don't iron my t-shirts, but to print on them, I feel better about doing it on an ironed t-shirt somewhat. I have some parchment paper. I also have a piece of carton that I'm gonna stick in between the t-shirt because we don't want it, the paint going to the other side. I have an sundry of colors of paint as well as an inexpensive plastic storage container that I simply covered with saran wrap so I can dispose of the saran wrap and use this storage cover again. I also have some inexpensive sponges, a kitchen sponge that I cut up into little smaller pieces as well as some freshly cut leaves. That's very important. I'm actually using this as well. Now, this is a product by Golden GAC 900. It, it's a heat setting solution where you can mix 50-50 with your paint. It makes the fabric feel a little softer. The All right. Pour a little bit of my solution into a plastic cup so it's easier to use. It is a rather large container. All right, let's have some fun here. All right. Now, you could do something botanically inspired if you wanted to use the leaves in that direction. For example, uh, if you wanted to place them on here and have something really wispy and free, that would be beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You might want to do something like this. This is something on an old t-shirt that I used as a sample for my husband's stash. And I simply cut off the, the collar and the um, sleeves. And I wear that to work out. You could do something like that.
And once again, just gently rub the leaf. And spill that a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to overlay that. Now for over here, can start another one. I think for the placement, I'm going to keep it right about where I had it. What I'd like to do is take this purple porter weed and take the stem and create some fluid stems coming out from the flowers. Really impressionistic style. We're not looking for anything that's too detailed, but I'm going to take a little bit of a mix of this green and the yellow. I mean, actually, that's the lime green. Excuse me. Marcy, get your color straight. Hmm. read as it is, right? I'm not looking for perfectionism. Oh, okay, so that's nice. That's good. That works, right? Okay. Uh-huh. All right. We're going to put this to the side so we don't get anything messed up with that. That's very, very pretty. What are you thinking? Hmm? I'm going to take purple here, purpley color right there, and then maybe, um, let me see, a pink color over here, I think. Okay, now what I'd like to do is finish this off with some tiny leaves right here wispy little leaves, like here, right here, that'll be nice. Ah, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, look at that, ah, oh, so pretty. Mm. Now who wouldn't love to receive this as a gift? This is just simply divine. Our t-shirt is officially done and it deserves a signature, of course. So actually it's not officially done until it is signed, but I love it. For our super cute planter today, we will be using five tiles. Now I'm using the three by threes, but if you have a, you know, a larger size, you can use that, whatever your preference. And they should be cleaned with an alcohol, first soap and water, and then just wipe them down with alcohol so that the paint is going to stick to it very easily and successfully. A handful of Sharpie markers of colors of your choosing, E6000 glue, and use some painter's tape as well as a clear seal for the end of the project to spray the planter. And this is the Krylon Clear Lays, as well as the Rust-Oleum. Whatever you have around is, you know, fine. If it's one of those, that's great. Isopropyl alcohol, 99% is what you want. And I'm using also a dropper and an upcycled uh, water bottle because I find it easier to pour the alcohol in here and use the dropper to facilitate the alcohol onto the paint. 
And I think that just about does it. So let's start our painting. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you right now is we're gonna pour some of the alcohol into this cup. And now my tiles are already clean. I've already cleaned them with alcohol and they're nice and clean. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of my paints and get some good, good colors going in here. I'm gonna use some blues and greens. I'm feeling kind of beachy today. Some beachscape and maybe some sunscape colors, maybe some orange and reds towards the end. So for now, what I'm gonna do is to take this and I'm gonna do this as one contagious painting. So basically, I'm gonna start like so. And this is totally random. Just let your heart go. So now this is where I'm gonna take my dropper and my alcohol and you get to start doing your abstract painting even more so. I'm gonna start here because I wanna see how this develops. You know, you could, I suppose, start to work into them if you wanted to while they're wet. You could do that. You know, just like a painter uh, would on a, on a canvas, you could do wet on wet. Okay, I'm gonna leave this because I do not want to muddy the crispness and the clarity of the color. I'll let that dry and we'll move on. This is a really nice, quiet, shady area with minimal wind to spray my pieces. I have my rust -Oleum ready to go and I have a respirator mask to cover my face. Of course, no painting is complete without signing it and dating it. I'm gonna give a light coat several times over and that should be sufficient to seal in the paint job. Allow the tiles to dry completely before trying to handle them. We're going to put them together into the planter and do the finishing touches. It's the time for assembling the actual plant or the box. So this is the order in which I'm going to do them. In. So all I'm gonna do is take this and put the glue on the side, nice and neat as you can. And don't worry if you have a little bit of area right here where it's not painted. Because in the beginning, we weren't concerned about you know, reaching the edges because those can be taken care of after. It's very, very simple, I'll show you. All right. We're just gonna simply continue with all the four sides. What I did is I put the bottom tile on, all the four sides are taped, and I'm simply adjusting the alignment of this bottom tile looks really, really good because you do want this to be watertight and you can always add a little sealer in here or in the inside. All right, I think we're looking really good. I did do my little measurement. It's looking really good and really nice. So we know it's even. We're not gonna have some kind of wonky planter sitting on our desk, right? But it's all good, it's all fun. I do hope you're having fun. I'm just gonna check that. All right, I'm just gonna let that dry and sit overnight. Well, this is the moment of the unveiling. It is dry. It's a beautiful planter. And I'm gonna make some touch-ups on the sides right here and here and on the base. I've already given it the water test. It is sealed tight. And we're just gonna go and take the markers and do a little touch-ups around the rims. What I'm gonna do is simply take my alcohol and just allow, drizzle this over and just allow the marker, the Sharpie, to get into all the little crevasses. Let the planter dry at this point. It's not gonna take that long. I'm gonna give it a light spray with the clear spray once more. My planter has been lightly sprayed after the last touch-ups of the Sharpie markers. And it's ready to be filled.
There's a wonderful quote from Ben Carter, and it is, happiness does not result from what we can get, but what we can give. And there's such truth in those words. When you give a gift that is homemade, handmade, created by you from the heart, it is really such a, a selfless act of love. So be it birthday, hostess, or holiday gift, make it homemade. I thank you so much for joining me today. Have an amazing week, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs>